Yeah, it's Valentine's Day. You kiss your master. <laughs> Let's learn how to film 3D spatial video with a professional VR camera rig, the Canon R6, R5, or R5C with the dual fisheye lens. If you want your spatial video look amazing inside Apple Vision Pro, you have got to learn how to make top-notch 3D videos with a solid dynamic range and high frame rate. Aim at 60 frames per second at least. We are talking about shooting content professionally for Apple Vision Pro, not for your family vacation or your kid's birthday party, unless your kid is Jenna Ortega or Ryan Chenham. He actually shot a full-on music video with Present Ghost only on the Apple Vision Pro. Pretty bossy and the video is actually really good. Go check it out. That is why we are not using the built-in 3D camera on the Vision Pro right here or even the iPhone 15 Pro Max. If you are serious about creating content on the Vision Pro to make your money back from this expensive investment, let's learn a better way to create content on it. <laughs> oh my god, what is wrong with me? <laughs> so, how do the image quality of the Apple Vision Pro's native 3D camera, iPhone 15 Pro Max, Kandao Eagle, and the Canon EOS VR system compare? Well, I will show you in spatial video inside Apple Vision Pro right here in the next video. This one, we are focusing on the workflow. One thing we know for sure, neither the Apple Vision Pro nor the iPhone 15 has 60 frames per second. So the resulting video is far from memory. Unless your memory is dropping frames. 60 frames per second or even 90 frames per second, aka shot on the Red V Raptor with the Canon New Fish Islands, can fully utilize the high frame rate of the Apple Vision Pro right here. The end result is a bodily smooth spatial video. Another advantage of shooting on a cinema level VR 180 camera rig is weak framing. That is very similar on how to shoot on the Instar 360 X3 and reframe it for social media posts later on. If you have the Apple Vision Pro, yes, the spatial video image quality is fantastic, but the stabilization are not. Kimchi is looking for the crow. <laughs> He's ignoring you. He's patrolling the backyard. You're upsetting his work. In short, you should film spatial video with a professional 3D camera rig, just like Apple TV. We will break this in-depth workflow into two parts. Part 1 is how to turn fisheye lens footage from the Canon to regular 3D. The best 3D with technical correct disparity. Well, the reason why I said that is because iPhone 15 Pro Max does not have a technical correct 3D. It has a vertical disparity that makes close-up 3D hard to see. Part 2, we will learn free FMPEG to convert any technical correct 2D video into spatial video. You can use the Canon EOS VR utility to do the first part, but I found that Mystica VR is the best tool for the job. Mystica VR is the industry standard 3D VR conversion toolset used by big Hollywood film studio as well as independent 3D content creators like myself. It is also the key to achieve flawless 2D using the help of AI. If you are new to Mystica VR, check out the first tutorial to become familiar with it. Let's open up Mystica VR, drop in Canon CRM RAW directly into Mystica VR timeline. If you don't know already, Canon RAW is the only way to get 60 frames per second in 8K. Mystica VR has template for all 3D camera, so just right click and pick the Canon to official lens profile as the starting point. Now, this is a good time to trim the clip to the session you need, set the correct color space, which is Canon C-Log3 Cinema Gamut, do it in both input and output panel. As we do not want to do a color space transformation here, we will handle color inside DaVinci Resort or Mystica Boutique. Also, turn off optical flow and remove stitching feather as you do not need them. Now, click this button to get a single fisheye. Turn on the image circle with this button. You get a yellow circle. Make sure the yellow circle is in the middle of your fisheye like so. Now, you can turn off single eyes viewing. 
set the view mode to black and white anagraph so you can see 3D. As you see, the 3D is totally off. Now, let Mystical AI to figure out the best 3D for us. Go to Stitch and select Auto Calibrate. Under Mode, select VR 180 and the rest you can leave it as a default. Click Calibration and let AI do the rest. Several seconds later, you get the perfect stereo 3D. Now in output camera setting, we do not want VR 180. We want rectilinear linear without any facial distortion. Basically, just like shot on the iPhone 15. So in mapping, we pick Panel rectilinear. Linear. Immediately, we see the view is correct with no fisheye anymore. Now open render options under apply, pick custom. So basically, the Apple Vision Pro 3D camera only gives you a square view. Square view is kind of useless in my opinion. So we standardize our spatial video in 16x9. In output resolution, we set it to 3840x2160 4K. It crops the view, which is exactly what we want. Turn back on side-by-side -side mode, it looks great. We can even make it better by adding animation of a 3D camera pen to add movement in our spatial video, which is very hard to do with an iPhone on a gimbal, let alone on a heavy vision bow strap onto your head. Go to the starting frame, right click on yard under the output camera panel and add a keyframe. Move the yard value until you see the Ponte Vecchio bridge. This is shot at Florence, Italy by the way. Check out the final VR film right here. Now go to the middle of the timeline, set the yard back to zero, so you have a smooth camera pan. Now go to file, open render window, set output file to QuickTime ProRes, MOV ProRes, or any codecs you want. Stereo is left and right, this is important. Audio in the movie and render it out. Now you can color grade this clip in your favorite software of choice. I either use DaVinci Resolve. If you want to learn how to edit 3D spatial video, how to insert graphics and branding and put together a new edit for a commercial client, check out this in-depth spatial video editing tutorial on DaVinci Resolve right here. After coloring, we have this 3D clip. Now it is time to turn it into spatial video so we can play back inside Apple Vision Pro right here correctly. You don't have to make it into spatial video. Vision Pro can play back regular 3D video, but the experience is fundamentally different. If you are unsure what spatial video is and what the differences is, I highly recommend check out this explainer video right here. It is eye-opening. Now we come to step two, using free open source FMMPEG2 to tell Vision Pro how to handle this clip spatially. This is all Mike Swanson's amazing work, so I want to give him a big thank you. He wrote an in-depth tutorial on his blog, so I just gotta point you to it. First, you open up Terminal on your Mac, CD into the folder where your 3D movie, 3D video located. Make sure you download the spatial video tool into that folder as well. This is your folder structure should look like. Now, within this folder in Terminal, run this command. The first part of the command is to make a spatial video. Dash I followed by the file name of your 3D video. Dash F tell the encoder what stereo format. This one is full size side by side, so SPS. Dash O followed by the output file name. Pay attention, it has to be a .mov QuickTime container file. Here are the interesting part of what sets spatial video different from 3D video. Dash C this is the distance between your camera rig. Mine is 60 millimeter for Canon dual fish islands right here. iPhone, for example, is 19.24 millimeter and Apple Vision Pro on board camera is 63.76 millimeters. So people state that 65 millimeter is the best IPD, but that's not true. Canon disagree, same as Apple. You cannot say they are wrong. But if you shot with the Z cam, that 65mm is your value here. Dash HFOV is horizontal field of view in degrees. 63.4 is the iPhone 15 Pro Max value. For most fisheye, if you undistort it, it should be 60. So you can be creative here. Dash has just is the horizontal disparity adjustment. 
That is how Vision Pro will give you more 3D or less 3D in special video. It also the key to give that subtle disparity I was talking about. I suggest experimenting in this value as this is a creative choice. I use 0.02, same as Apple Vision Pro on both camera value to match the same depth disparity as Vision Pro. Optionally, if you are feeding in a high quality ProRes file, you can set the quality using the bitrate value right here. Projection is rectilinear for spatial video. It can also be eco rectangular for 360 media and half eco rectangular for VR 180 media. They're all built into the official Apple and VHVC code base. So it is just a matter of time before the official Apple Vision Pro video player support local playback of full 360 and 3D 1D video playback with full ready rendering enabled. This means no more moon player or third party player. It will support natively. If you are new here, don't forget to follow so you don't miss that news when the official support is out. Hit enter and the code will use hardware GPU acceleration to render your video. Now drop this MOV file onto your Vision Pro and play it. Here is the 4K screen capture of the end result. It looks pretty good. The animation needs some more work, but you get the idea. We are reframing 3D spatial video, not 2D. So this is still pretty crazy. I will provide this exact video for you to download free of charge. Link in the description down below. Load it into your Vision Pro and comment below and tell me what you think. Your feedback are welcome on this channel and I do my best to answer them all. Now, with Vision Pro on my head, it will be easier for me to answer them faster. There are a lot of useful information packed into this tutorial. So we watch it and make sure you get it. If you need more help on Mystical VR, check out my other tutorial right here. Don't forget to subscribe if you are new here and hit the notification bell. If you want to learn how to edit spatial video, definitely check out this DaVinci Resort tutorial series right here. Go beyond being just an Apple Vision Pro consumer. Become a spatial creator and share your immersive stories to make the world a better place. See ya.